And joining us now in the studio to discuss this change of policy is Sam Castor. Hi, Sam, analyst at Clarity Capital. Um, so, Sam, why is this happening now? Give us a bit of a background. Why is this decision? Why are we hearing about this decision now? For sure. Well, starting off with the background, the issue here is always the economy in China, and then the flip side is what are some of the issues behind the economic challenges. So in terms of the economy, economic issues, the third quarter data just came through, and China's economic growth was at 6.9. That's the lowest it's been in about 10 years. Mm -hmm. So for China's leaders, that's a key concern. Now, one of the major economic challenges they're facing is completely lopsided demographic threats. What does that mean? Uh, as you suggested in the video a little bit earlier, their workforce is aging. They mm -hmm. don't have enough young people to support the social security that's going to have to go to the older people. People. And also, there's a tremendous gender imbalance. You have many, many more men being born than women, and this leads to a lot of social pressure, leads to a lot of young, unemployed males in the street, which creates political pressure on the government. And therefore, they had to address this demographic issue, which has widespread impact on the economy as well. And how is this latest announcement affecting the markets? Well, I would just take a step back before addressing that, because you had asked, why is this happening now? One mm -hmm. thing, the, the media around the world is paying tremendous attention to this, the end of the one-child policy. I mean, this has been the most uh, ambitious social scale that any government in history has ever tried on a billion people. 35 years, how successful has it been? There's tremendous attention on that. What people are not focusing on is that this past week, China rolled out the government its new five-year economic plan. This new five-year economic plan is part and parcel where they announced the end of the one-child policy. This five-year economic plan is critical. Just to give a little bit of history here, this is the 13th five-year plan China has had. The Soviet Union, from who China learned to use five-year economic <laughs> plans, never made it to its 13th five-year plan. It collapsed during the 13th plan. What does that mean? People around the world now are starting to be very critical of China's economy. They're saying, can the Chinese growth rate continue China is seeing its growth rate decrease. They're under now pressure to show that their new five-year plan will succeed. This is but the surrounding in which they announced the plan to eliminate the one-child policy. And Sam, looking back on, on that policy, was it proven to be harmful or helpful for China's economy? Well, the debate is always going to exist. I think most Your experts, personal view. most experts, and I would agree with them, are going to show widespread social harm that it caused to Chinese uh, population, particularly when you look at the the women. Um, women, it hurt them socially, it hurt them economically. As we mentioned, there are many more male children being born than female children. Obviously, limited people's personal abilities. Looking to the future, though, um, some are predicting a big boom, you know, a baby boom that's going to happen uh -huh. in China. Already you saw the stock prices of baby products, of milk products <laughs> going through the roof, the, the condom prices, uh, <laughs> those were falling as a result. Uh, but not just the young population, but also the aging population. This will have an effect. Mm -hmm. Sam Chester, thank you so much. And thank you all for watching our Daily Economy magazine for more business stories. You can check our website, i24news.tv, and of course, catch us here again. See you soon.